hey guys and welcome back to my channel oh my god yes i have been missing guys i have been missing it feels so weird to be sitting down and filming again um i did check the last video uploaded i know it was a week ago um but in real life i don't think i've filmed for about two weeks because a lot of those videos were pre-filmed um so i was so nervous i'm like press record press record <laughs> but yeah i finally did press record and um you know sit down and do this for you guys um apologies for my absences but i've just literally been going through it in my head um you know it's a lot for all of us at the moment but you know there is light at the end of the tunnel anyway this is not a sad story or a sad video um so if you want to see um me do this look for you on camera um and if you want to just sit and have a general chat with me um then just keep on watching if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time i upload videos and let's get into this video guys in first of all with this mattifying primer from makeup revolution um most of the packaging is rubbed off but <laughs> um, you can still see the writing there so this is just like a silicone based one i think i've used it many of times in my videos um but what was i gonna say to you guys now yeah so <laughs> i've been mia i know it's terrible um when i think i checked my last video and i know it's been like a week since my last upload but in my time, it's probably been about two weeks since I actually filmed. Um, so it has been a little while. Side note, randomly, I've been getting like these two lines that have been here. I think it's just where my face is getting really chubby. So um, I'm just trying to use this primer to kind of just feel that in and see if it makes any difference when I wear my foundation now oh guys lockdown has just done so many things to us <laughs> well me anyways um although we did have an announcement this week that there is light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully um by summer early July late June uh, we should be out of lockdown fully and you know able to go to like nightclubs meet our friends just do like so many different things i mean to be fair with you even though like lockdown is frustrating for me and stuff i i don't see myself going out out um i don't know comment down below what you think are you like even when lockdowns are up <laughs> Are you gonna go out out still or will you just still not stay in but be very like selective because that's how i'm gonna be selective as to where i go i just feel like um there's a lot of controversy around obviously coronavirus and stuff um but there is something out there that is actually killing people so of making people sick you guys <laughs> i need to protect myself i know that's very important some foundation i'm going to be using help me if i have it the right way around at this revlon color stay in 340 so i'm going to use this i've had this one for so long but uh, i felt i find this one that is 340 is a bit it has almost like this grayish undertone that i don't really like but since I'm only going to be using it to film, um, I don't mind. So I'm just going to put that straight onto my face. Hopefully that primer really helped. Um, yes, guys. So as I was saying, yeah, I've been MIA. <sighs> I feel like just lockdown just got too much for me um the fact that i haven't been working for the past like nine months um i was ill in january i'm sure you guys if you watch my videos you would know i was ill for basically the whole of january um 
so I wasn't even able to do like much like job searching because you know it's obviously all online so I wasn't able to do much of that I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly too much at you guys it's because I'm trying to do this um yeah so obviously I wasn't able to just like go online and apply for many jobs and I was just bogged down with this illness yeah so it was just really difficult for me and I felt I started you know just coming down with the blues as they say I felt really blue I felt really down I feel like there was this gray cloud hanging over my head uh, making me feel like um, demotivated deflated um, you know like I can't do things I was just feeling generally <sighs> just generally down guys so I just stopped filming and I kind of regret it because I know from past experience um filming is kind of like my therapy like I've always said to you guys I love filming I love being on camera I love these get ready get ready with me because I just chat to you guys on a on just like a normal basis like everyday joe <laughs> there's nothing um not fake but i mean like there's nothing i'm not trying to sh like show you something i'm not like doing a try on haul i'm not um talking to you about product or anything like that it's just me sitting here yes yeah, sometimes i do tell you i'm using that brush because this thing is broken i don't know where the pump bit has gone to it so um yeah so yeah what was i saying yeah, so I'm not trying to sell you guys any products or everything. We're just sitting here and chatting to you guys. I really hope that primer helps, guys. <laughs> because I'm like, am I getting old or what is happening with my face? But I literally realised it's... I feel like it's the fact that my face is getting really chubby. So I'm getting like... Um, my cheek, where my cheeks are coming out, my face is going in. <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, guys, food is real. What have you guys been up to? How has lockdown been treating you? I mean, how do you feel? Are you coping? Is it like a dream come true to you? Because I know for some people, it's just like, yay, lockdown. You know, no work. Like some people got time for work. Some people you know got to spend time with their family if they live with them i'm gonna go in with this revolution conceal and defined um it's a foundation but i'm gonna use it as a concealer so i'm gonna go in with that i bought this ages ago but i didn't like the consistency of it I do think it's a good foundation. I don't like the consistency of it. And I also think it smells absolutely horrible. It just smells really um, chemically. Chemically? <laughs> like it has a lot of chemicals in it. So I don't, I don't really like it, but I don't mind using it as a concealer because it is quite heavy duty. So I also got um, this Conceal and Glow by Makeup Revolution. So it is actually like a, um, a dewy foundation. Um, so I've been using this to sort of, I don't want to say contour because I don't feel like it's dark enough for me to contour, but I've been using it as a broad, like a liquid bronzer. So I literally just give it a shade because I believe it's got like some type of oils in it to obviously um, give you that dewy look. Um, so I've just put it on my bronzer lid here um, and then I usually just it's just a, such a lovely golden color I don't know if you guys can see that it's such a lovely golden color you're gonna see now when I put it on my face but I've just been using it to just warm up my face and then I do have to um, kind of go in with a What's that thing called? A contour shade. <laughs> I do have to go in with a contour shade, but um, this just kind of gives me that basis of 
shade. So it's like bringing back definition into my skin, which I really like. It's such a lightweight foundation as well. I just love the fact that it's really golden. It has like quite golden undertones to it. Just go in with my dry beauty blender and blend out my concealer. So yeah, guys, I mean, it is difficult. It is really difficult. I know a lot of people are really suffering um, in mental health um, with this lockdown um, and just, you know, the whole virus situation in general. So I know I'm not the only one. But also I'm doing my makeup today because I am filming some videos for you guys. So I've got some try and hauls coming very soon. Um, I'm really excited for summer. Um, I mean, I'm even more excited now because we know we're gonna be out of lockdown. So bikini hauls, um, everything guys. I mean, I don't think, I don't wanna jinx myself, but um, I don't have any plans to travel this year. I did want to go away for my birthday. I can't believe I've just squeezed this one out. Um, I didn't want to go away for my birthday this year. My birthday is in November, but because it is a significant one, it is a big one. So I kind of wanted to go away for it. Um, but we'll see. I mean, if I don't go abroad, I will definitely do a little staycation. So, but let's just see what happens. You just never know. I love like golden undertones, yellow undertones. I think they just look so nice. So I'm gonna use this foundation and contour brush from um, Primark. So it just looks like this. I've had it quite a while, but I just want to use it to blend in that bronzer. I mean, where the bronzer is so like, it's supposed to be dewy and um, the consistency isn't that thick. It's not thin, but it's not thick. It's so easy to blend it in. So just blending that and then uh, my lips. I'm gonna go in a little bit more with that on my cheeks just because I have got more hair um, and want to use it up but yeah this is a really good foundation if you want to just use it as a foundation I would highly recommend it it's really creamy as you can see it just blends effortlessly um, it's just a nice foundation guys in general so let's start blending out that concealer hair. I didn't even show you guys what I was using, but it's all my usual products that I use. LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, this is actually color corrector um, in the shade yellow. It's the darker yellow because there's two. There's the lighter yellow and there's the darker one. So I use the darker one. I used to use the lighter one, but I found that when I'm wearing like fake tan and, you know, I'm quite tanned, that bright yellow just looks a bit crazy <laughs> so um i like using the dark one it's just still quite dark so yeah i'm really looking forward to summer guys i feel like it is well needed well deserved i feel like a lot of us are trying to get our bodies in shape <laughs> for the summertime. So as you can see guys, it's really, really nice. I am filming on my phone again. I like to film my get ready with, get readies with me on my phone. Cause I just feel like, um, it's just more accessible for me to edit. Um, just put my phone into the tripod. I don't have to be thinking about setting up the camera. So I really do like editing on my phone. So yeah, that is really, really nice. 
I think if I should leave it like this, I was gonna cream contour, but I feel like I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna set my face now. Just to have something a little bit different, guys. I don't really fancy heavy makeup today. She says that she's put like five layers of foundation and concealer on. <laughs> but I have been known to put more on than this, especially when I'm filming. So I'm going in with my Cody Airspun um, Naturally Neutral Powder and I'm just going to set I'm gonna set my under eyes first because like I said, I've been getting that crease in there where my face is getting chubby. Uh, so I'm just setting that real quick. Now it's all over my black top. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. Normally I'd get much more messier than this. Guys, I'm gonna bring you directly in front of the sunlight. That might be a bit Okay, I've brought you directly in front of the sunlight, so you'll be getting like true to color of what's going on. Let me know in the comments down below what video you would like to see next. Do you want to see a vlog? Do you want to see, um, obviously I'm doing the try and hauls, but what a video would you like to see next? I mean, anything guys. Also, I missed you guys on Valentine's Day. What did you guys do? Comment down below. Um, I was meant to do a cook with me video, but your girl was in her feelings and I didn't do it. But what did you guys get up to for Valentine's Day? Um, did you have fun? Um, um, who did you spend it with? If you spent it alone, what did you do? Um, I'm using my Bronze Perfection MUA Bronzing Powder. You guys know I love this. I use it all the time. So I'm using that to just set the contoured areas, the bronze areas, I should say. So just using this fluffy blending brush, I'm going to just dip into that bronzing powder because it is matte, I'm just gonna use it to go over my nose where I use that, that darker foundation just to kind of do a light contour. This is really not dark at all, so it shouldn't look too crazy. So I'm just using that to go over the nosey. Now on the lips. Um, and then I literally just want to dust off, but I think I'm just going to use this brush and just dust that off. So, and that's going to tone, also tone that powder down, because sometimes it does look a bit white cost. There we go. I don't feel like I'm going to do blush. I'm not seeing much of a difference with the lines yet. But maybe I am. It doesn't look as prominent, but um, let's see. I want to put a little something on my lids. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna use my Morphe Such A Gem eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm not going to use any of these like pinky shades or crazy shades. Like I said, I'm going for a really neutral look. Um, this is probably not the best palette to look, use, but I can't be bothered to get any other one out. Um, so I'm just literally going to use this shade here on the end. And that is just literally a, I would say, it's in between a cool and a um, warm toned brown. But I'm just using that. I'm just using that and putting it in my crease. So just working that in. Don't 
just building up because that is not not blending as well as I thought it does. Maybe it's me. So yeah, like I said, guys, I'm really looking forward to summer. Even just spring. Oh my gosh, guys, even just spring. I feel like my favorite time of year is spring, not summer. I am a winter baby. Like I said, my birthday is in November. Um, but I feel like my favorite time of year is spring because it's such a beautiful medium. It is not too cold, it's not too hot. Um, I feel like here in the UK, we get crazy winters and we get crazy summers. It's either freezing cold or boiling hot. There is no nice in between. And that's why I love spring because I feel like it is my healthy medium. Even though it does get those moments where you're like, oh, I should have wrapped up a bit warmer today. Um, but I just really, really like, I really like spring. Um, so yeah, what is your favorite season, guys? Comment down below what your favorite season is. Uh, like I said, mine is spring. Um, doing simple things today, guys. So going to use my eyeliner from the beauty supply. You guys know I love this eyeliner. Also, I'm experimenting um, with my hauls because usually I choose four products to, four items I should say, to try on in every sort of try on video. When I look at my analytics, um, obviously I can see what the average duration that the viewer watches of my video. So I think, is am I wasting my time to do a video that is longer? Um, but I mean, is it because the video is too short that that's why people don't watch a long video? Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to, um, the hauls that I'm filming today are a little bit longer. I think I've maybe got about five, six items um per haul so they are a bit longer than usual so i'm gonna test it out um if it's not the best feedback then i think i'll just carry on with my four items um but also let me know in the comments down below what what you guys like to see do you like longer hauls do you like shorter hauls uh medium <laughs> whatever that medium would be and uh, let me know in the comments down below how how you like them so brows um the lid has finally come off of my brow powder but she's still there so we're going to continue using her i literally just feel like just over them a little bit because um obviously i tint my brows so i don't need to do too much to them put a pink lip on i haven't done a pink lip in ages look at me talking about lips and we haven't even done lashes so i had this lash set from amazon um i've had it for quite a while now um, I think I showed it to you guys in one of my videos before, one of my get readies with me. Um, but I'm just going to choose. I don't really like these lashes, if I'm completely honest. Um, it was a brand that I've been using for years. Um, and I don't know why, but they just changed their lashes. Apparently, it was um, a holiday edition. I think it says on it. Special edition. So, I'm hoping that next time I order them, they're going to be... Do, um reselling their old lashes what they used to because i don't i feel like these ones are just cheap um they look cheap they feel cheap they don't last that long i just i just don't like them guys you know we just don't like something um but i'm gonna work with it i want to use these today and i like a big let me show you guys even better out of the packet i like a big um fluffy lash these are these are just not my thing. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. Just everything about these lashes, I just don't like. 
I think all the lashes that I did like in them, um, I used them up already. So I think it's because now, you know, it's just left with the crappy ones. Like the glue on these oh god i guess the only plus side to these lashes is that the band on these are much thinner than the other ones um i know people say that obviously that's gives them more of a natural look but funny enough i actually prefer thicker bands i find them easier to put on um they last longer when you're reusing them and I think I just like them generally more. Just trying to dry this lash because they can be very flimsy. So I'm going to just put this lash on. Literally that. I've got a bit of glue here, so I'm just going over that. So I was gonna do a pink lip, but I think I'll leave it. I'm gonna go on go in <laughs> with this this is actually like an eyeshadow like uh, pencil but i'm gonna just use it for my lips because i like the color of it it's a bit fat for lips <laughs> because it might be a little bit hard to do it but if we take our time i'm enough cooler on my lips than what i thought it would I thought it was going to be quite warm as you can see it's like really a very warm um brown but it's coming off very cool on my lips i should have just stuck to my usual um eyebrow pen <laughs> this is a bit more warm tone so i'm just gonna go over it and mix it together i like that now that is really pretty I'm just going to use this lipstick from Kiko. It's just like a nude colour lip lipstick. It has a slight pinky undertone to it, but it's a nude lipstick. I love Kiko products. I think they're so such high quality for affordable price. Sorry, just dropping everything. Okay guys, so that is it for this Get Ready With Me. Um, I hope you like this look. Um, apologies for my absences, <laughs> but we all go through it. Um, yeah, like again, I said, comment down below any video you would like me to do. Comment down below about um, what type of videos, if you like longer hauls or shorter hauls. Let me know. It's all for feedback so I can always just give you guys what you want. <laughs> so let me know in the comment down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much for always sticking by me and, you know, staying subscribed, um, coming back, commenting on my videos. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the lovely emails I get, um, people checking up on me is so beautiful and I just thank you guys so much. <laughs> if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time I upload videos and I'll see you soon guys.